So we need to log into CMS one. We are in CMS one now. Uh, so here we have to create the login user uh, for uh, the login for CMM with the API access. So let's give it a name CMM. User add CMM. Okay, the user is created. If we have more than uh, one CMS, like in this tab, we have like a cluster of CMS. So on all the uh, nodes of CMS, you'll have to run this so that the CMM will be able to manage all. Next, let's just access the web. Using password. And yeah, this is what we were waiting to see. This is our CMM, and these are the various options we can see here. This is the dashboard. This is how it looks like. You can see notifications. It's a very simple, easy to use, uh, user friendly tool here. And see overview with uh, like quick view options uh, where you can see notifications, warnings, any alarms or something. Meetings, if you have a TMS integrated, you, you will be able to see your conference meetings here as a list. You can open those, you can access uh, participants from there, and then all those options that I just gave you an overview about, like add participants, move participants, or their login settings, all that we can perform from here. Users, you can import a uh, local user to create manually, uh, LDAP, and do LDAP configuration from here. Servers to manage your different systems integrated with this, like TMS, CMS, all nodes of CMS, any external servers, all that. Logs, really to generate any logs, like system logs, audit logs, crash reports, detailed tracing for any Cisco TAC requests. Licenses, this is used to manage and monitor licenses. But to add licensing, we have to go to settings. And from here, we can add licensing. If you click licensing here and click change, it gives you these options. In this one, it's not showing you a traditional one, but uh, I believe it shows you smart licensing, traditional, and no licensing. So you can select from here. And then if you, uh, select the licensing type, then it will generate a token in case of smart licensing. And that token needs to be added here 
it will ask you to register with the token and as as you click register you you can put that token which is generated and that's it your license will be added and ready to use you can then go back to the licenses tab here and you can view all your licenses information, uh, how many different licenses you have for different services. You can even manage uh, or distribute licenses from here in case of smart licensing, but in traditional, you can only view. So in settings, that is the last tab. That's all we can do in CMM, but within settings, there is a lot of things we can do. We can do network settings. We can add certificates call detail records for reporting any reporting server if you want to add here tms you can add from here tms address and so on right now we do not have that integration ntp server we can have we see some list here we have an ntp server licensing to add licensing like we just saw sign in messages we can configure from here what signing as messages should be displayed. Advanced security, any securities like session timeouts, sign in uh, rating attempts, how many attempts for signing should be allowed. And after that, the account should be logged, TLS settings, and so on. For management, we can do management configurations like backup, restore, upgrade, and restart system that is itself. So that is it. This is the overview of CMM. I think now you're familiar with the dashboard and all the settings we can have in CMM.